Welcome to the rocky shores of New England. Unlike the beaches that we've seen on Nantucket, as you can see when you look around here, it's rocky. In fact, this rocky coast is common in passive margins where you have a large continental shelf and no active tectonics. No active tectonics today. But 420 million years ago, this place was crazy. 420 million years ago, a volcanic arc slammed into North America and it accreted a piece of another continent. In other words, smashed it and stuck it to the side of the continent so that I'm actually sitting on a continent called Avalon. I'm no longer in North America. When you think about active tectonic settings, we think about coasts like Japan, where we have faults and earthquakes. Coasts like California, faults and earthquakes. When you think of the east coast of the United States or the west coast of Europe, it's boring, it's quiet, you have beautiful beaches. But just remember, 420 million years ago, North America was crazy. A volcanic arc the size of Japan slammed into North America and put a new continent, Avalon, right here. As we've been exploring the coasts of the world, we've also been talking about the communities that inhabit them. When you go to rocky shores, you'll often find flat rock landscapes that were used by Native Americans for fires, where they actually fished and deboned and deshelled the fish, cooked, camped, and lived. So within the rocks, you'll also find a rich human history.